Yeah, welcome back guys. Uh, in this video uh, I will talk about a bit of what you need to get into carp fishing. I see a lot of questions on different uh, Facebook sites. Uh, how do I start? Uh, what do I need? Uh, do I have to buy that and that and that? This video will be a bit about the bare minimum. In my opinion, my honest opinion, uh, what you need to go out and fish for carp. Uh, there are two scenarios. There's one, you are already fishing. Maybe you are fishing for trout uh, on the sea or doing, have tried it and or have some equipment already. If you are fish, um, spinner fishing, uh, for trout, bigger trout, uh, and maybe have some uh, eight, nine, ten foot rods, then you can use them. You also need a reel, a 4000 reel and upwards, I will recommend you. So if you have those two things, then here is, in my opinion, what you need. You need a good main line. And you need one that sinks. This is not, it's from Fox. It's not the fastest sinking um, mainline, but I'm using it because I'm not that good of a caster. So I need all the help I can get. Uh, this one is a 16 pound. I would recommend a form more or less um, everything you, uh, or almost every situation from 14 and upwards. Um, the figure the line, the more it can handle, but more you're, you're losing uh, some casting uh, length of the cast, um, the bigger diameter you have. But it's, yeah, you know, the, the figure, the stronger, that's what you need. Then you also need an arrangement um, for the hook and for for the lead to get it out laying on the bottom. Cups are bottom feeders. For the most of the time, sometimes they are water. You can do sick fishing and uh, floater fishing, uh, but I'm talking about presenting the bait on the bottom. Here is one option. It's a lead clip arrangement. It means that here on that little, I might call it a hook, that's where you place your lead. So it sits here and then put the sleeve down like so. I hope you can see everything from the glare. Uh, actually, today it's uh, we are having all different kinds of weather. Right now it's uh, 70 degrees and sunny. One hour ago it was hailing. Uh, this morning when we were getting out of bed it was snowing. So it's uh, start of May. I don't know what's happening to the weather. But uh, here's something and then you need a hook link. Here is a normal standard um, hook arrangement. Uh, it's a um, nutless nut. You can find more of it uh, on YouTube on how to tie it, uh, what to use. Uh, but uh, most of all, you can you can buy it um, re ready-made. Uh, different companies are making it. Uh, Fox are making it, Corda, ESB, uh, all the bigger and also smaller um, tackle uh, uh, manufacturers are making it. So maybe you should start by buying something that's already made. Um, it goes on to uh, the arrangement like so. See, and then there's a 
little sleeve here so it sits nice and neat. I don't know if you can see everything from the glare but that's pretty much it. Uh, in this leader there's, uh, it's weighed down so it will lay flat on the bottom. Um, so what more do you need? You need some hook baits. Uh, those are from, uh, I'm using spotted fin. It could be mainline, it could be uh, sticky baits, it could be DT. Uh, there are many different companies out there. Uh, find one that suits you. Uh, and my honest opinion is uh, don't uh, save, uh, spare your money on bait because all these things here are the business end that's what's doing the trick on the bank uh, or underwater the the carps don't know what kind of rot you uh, you have on the bank or wheels or anything they see what's underwater and that's the important stuff not what uh, if it's the new newest uh, ruts or reels or rut pots or bite indicators. The cops don't know about that. They know what they see on the water, so that's the important one. So buy good quality bait that will most of the time bring you that extra fish or the first fish. So don't. Um, don't save money on that. Go uh, buy some decent bait. I know there's a lot of people out there saying, oh, everybody can get you a bite. And, uh, and they probably can. But uh, maybe you will be missing out to fish and only catch one instead of maybe catching three. So that's just my honest opinion. That's, that's all. Um, that is uh, maybe the most essential parts. Oh, and then we have one more thing. That's carp care. When you have put all these things here, the business and arrangement, your hook baits, your free offerings, when you have all that in, your, in the basket, <clears throat> then there's some more important stuff. Uh, first of all, a landing net. Uh, it, it doesn't have to be the, uh, the most expensive one, but one that can, can fit <coughs> a carp in it. It's maybe a 42 inch, that's the normal standard. And they are, there are some pretty decent ones to, uh, to a reasonable price. So you need a landing net. And then you need an unhooking mat. That's very, very important. When we are going to catch those carps, they are pre uh, some of them are pretty old and uh, they are not suited for uh, laying around in the grass or on top of rocks or <clears throat> anything like that. Not even, uh, I have seen people using towels that, that will rip off the, the slime layer on, uh, on the sides. If you're not prepared to go out and buy an unhooking mat and a landing net that will fit a carp with a very small mesh, then don't go carp fishing. That's my honest opinion. That they are so cheap. Uh, to around uh, 200 crowns, then you will get an unhooking mat. And you can safely release the carp afterwards. It will not die, uh, uh, at least not from laying around on the ground. So go out and buy an unhooking mat and a decent landing net. If you have these things, then you are good to go. To just go out, find the carp. Um, and uh, many people are asking, uh, what about that lake? What about that lake? What about that lake? Here in Denmark, pretty much every 
lake that not goes dry in the summer month, whole cup. Uh, I think it's uh, pretty much the same in Germany or in England or there are also some places in the US where there's uh, a pretty decent amount of carp. Go out on a sunny day, have a look around, you will see them basking around in the sun and uh, make sure you have your fishing license and uh, whatever you need to go out and fish that specific lake. That's my recommended uh, for you now. Uh, the next uh, video in this little series uh, will be about uh, when you are on to carp fishing. You, uh, you have the, the germ. Uh, then uh, my, uh, my opinion on what to go out and, and buy. Uh, yeah, that's all for this first part. Uh, hopefully I will see you again uh, in the next uh, part uh, of this series. Uh, so go out, have fun, uh, enjoy, see you.